To test the friend relationship between two users, we're going to be manually inserting records into the database to say that two users are friends with each other and whether they've accepted or not. But the first step is creating the migration for the friends table. And if we just open up our database uh, client here, we obviously have an ID for each user, that's obvious. So our friends table needs to have a user ID and a friend ID. And then we're going to have a Boolean, which is whether that other friend has accepted. And we'll create the logic for this within the user model later. So let's go ahead and generate a migration. So we're going to do the same thing as we did when we migrated uh, or created the migration migration for the users table. So we say PHP artisan make migration. And this time we're creating the friends table. So once that's created, let's head over to our text editor, over to database migrations and over to the create friends table migration. We do the same thing really as we did for the users table. So we use the schema builder to create the friends table. We have our callback here. Remember we type in blueprint and have our table variable there. So we don't really need increments on here uh, as an ID, but we'll keep it in there anyway. And we are going to have a user ID and a friend ID. These are both going to be integers. So user ID and friend ID. Now, obviously, when we send a friend request, we need to uh, have the other user accept it. So we're going to have a Boolean here, which translates to a tiny in in the database. And that is whether they've accepted or not. And we can go ahead and add our table timestamps as usual. So when we reverse or roll back or reset migrations, what we want to do here is drop that friends table like so. OK, so now that we've done that, then let's go ahead and run our migration. So PHP artisan migrate. Ah, So this error is I've made a mistake here. I've said schema table. We're actually creating that schema. So let's go ahead and run that again. And there we go. So let's take a look at our database table again. This database table here, we've got user ID, friend ID accepted. We've got everything we need. And in the next step, we can move on to actually looking at the relationship between two people. And then eventually we can output a list of our friends on our profile page. And of course, on our friends page too.